Hi everyone. Well, we're coming to the end of September and to the end of a special month of Septandi, a time where creators come together to talk about all things Tandy. While this video is about my own Tandy, it's also about the community and their prior work, without which this card and this video would not be possible. Let's get into it. This is my Tandy 1400 LT, an XT laptop with an NEC V20 CPU, 768K RAM, and two floppy drives. To make it more useful, I really want to add some form of storage, but I also want to add a network card. At the rear of the Tandy, we have this expansion slot, and according to the technical manual, it's designed to add a port that you can connect an external expansion box. So, inspired by a card low tech made in 2013, I decided to give this a go. For the storage side of the card, I didn't drift too far from low tech with a design based on the XTCF Lite, which is this side of the card. This works perfectly with the XT ID Universal BIOS. Uh, for the LAN, I went with a Realtek 8019 AS, which is an NE2000 compatible platform. And after using Realtek cards on the past on XTs, I would have less unknowns going in to this project by using this card. The 8019 AS has a pin detect for the 16-bit bus, otherwise it drops to 8-bit, which is exactly what we need here. On the card itself, we have address decoding logic, the EEPROM for the XT ID BIOS, some inverters because some of the signals need to be inverted to work with standard ISA signaling, the compact flashcard, the Realtek uh, IC, the EEPROM for that Realtek. I made a little mistake here, but I'll fix that in the schematics. And then you have the network port. And that's it. So time to install it and see what it can do. For first boot up, we'll just use the built-in screen, but then we'll switch over to the external monitor because it's easier to see. We're running Phoenix BIOS That's it. Right, since this is a, a Realtek based network card, we can use a standard Realtek utilities to set it up like R set. And we can view the current configuration, the MAC address, and the IO base address. I don't have a boot ROM installed, I couldn't fit it onto the board with two layer manufacturing. Um, so we can run check it. I'll do a benchmark on the hard drive. Six hundred forty-five k second is kind of quick for an XT, but this is a V twenty based CPU, and I'm running the V twenty enhanced version of the XT ID Universal BIOS. So we can exit that. We can we can ping out to let's say Google. Telnet to 
I'm running an NC driver, so we're getting the nice ASCII graphics. And we can try another one. And we can go on the web. I'm running um, a Rachni web browser going to FrogFind, which is a vintage compatible web search engine by Action Retro. Takes a while to load. There we go. And why not search for Septendi? That's the card. Um, I've uploaded that to GitHub. Um, you're free to do with it what you want. Um, if you have any other comments, suggestions, just put them below. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.